Hi, I'm Kim Adams. I'm a busy mom of four children and a journalist whose child has personally received care here at the Children's Hospital of Michigan. I don't know about you, but when my child is sick, I want every bit of information I can get to help them feel better. This pediatric medical moment is intended to give parents more information about pediatric health issues from the experts right here at the Children's Hospital of Michigan, where everything they know and everything they do is just for children. Today's pediatric medical moment is about growth plates. What is a growth plate and how does your child injure it? We talked to orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Walid Yassir, to find out. So you'd find a growth plate essentially at the end of any long bone. So you can find one just below your knee, just above your knee, just above your ankle, um, at your hip. So in the leg alone, there are multiple growth plates going from the hip all the way down to the ankle. Uh, same thing in the long bones of the arms or even in the fingers. Pediatric orthopedic surgeon Dr. Yassir is one of the leading experts when it comes to growth plate injuries, especially in children. Uh, the growth plate is, uh, is kind of an amazing structure. It's a set of specialized cells that exist in every bone in the body, essentially. They allow the bone to get longer and uh, in some cases to get wider and they're what uh, makes it possible for children to grow and become adult-sized. What we don't realize is that growth plate's even more amazing than your phone. You know, people are so impressed with like all the things that are in their phone. And here's the growth plate. You can just give the kids food and it figures out how to put the stuff in the right place and make them longer. And you know, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. But with such an incredible structure comes the risk of injury. Having all that metabolic activity and being able to add, you know, calcium and phosphorus and all the things that make bone and make it longer are that that's a relatively weak area in the bone. The growth plates are very often near joints and so a lot of times children instead of spraining a joint will actually injure their growth plate. So the growth plate gets put under a lot of pressure and it's a little bit weaker. So a growth plate uh, injury can happen from twisting, it can happen from uh, a, uh, an abnormal bend, it can happen from a direct blow. Uh, so anything that would cause a normal bone to break can also injure a growth plate. Dr. Yassir says the majority of injuries occur between the ages of 7 and 14 years. And from roller skating to gymnastics to baseball, every sport carries the risk of a growth plate injury. How can parents help prevent these injuries? I mean, I have a son that plays soccer year-round now, and uh, I've had to sometimes slow him down if he's starting to have symptoms in certain areas. The other thing is listen to your body. So if you're having pain in a certain area, uh, pain is, uh, you know, we have this sort of culture where it's no pain, no gain, and push through the pain. Um, you can't do that so much for children. A small amount of pain may be acceptable, but you just don't know. And if children are complaining about it, um, uh, on a regular basis or you see them limping or you see them holding their arm and they don't really want to tell anybody because they know they're not going to be allowed to play this weekend, uh, you have to just intervene because, um, because persistent pain is a sign that there's something wrong. If your child does injure a growth plate, the kind of doctor you choose can be critical. It's best to see an orthopedic surgeon and even better if you can see a pediatric orthopedic surgeon because we, we spend a lot of time with the, gr with the growth plate. That's kind of, uh, that's sort of where we live. A lot of what pediatric orthopedic surgeons do is we're, we're always thinking about the, uh, what I call the third axis of growth, which is time. When you look at an injury, you're worried about how it's, you know, is it twisted, is it tilted, um, but we're also worried about is it going to grow normally afterwards. And, uh, and so there are certain things that somebody might think is really not, not that big of an injury that we'll treat very aggressively in a cast or even sometimes with an operation because we know that that growth plate could be compromised by inadequate treatment. Thanks so much for watching this pediatric medical moment about growth plates. We hope we've answered some of your questions. If you'd like more information, you can always go to our website at childrensdmc.org and check out the Wonder Blog. Also, if you'd like to make an appointment with one of our physicians here at Children's Hospital of Michigan, you can just call 313-745-KIDS.